This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. Two U.S. citizens are reportedly among four people who were killed when gunmen attacked an SUV in Ciudad Juarez across the border from El Paso, Texas. The El Paso Times reports that an official with the U.S. consulate in Juarez on Monday identified the U.S. citizens killed over the weekend as 19-year-old Pablo No Williams and his mother, 35-year-old Rosa Williams. They are listed as being from Kansas. A spokesman from the Chihuahua State Attorney General's office told the newspaper the young man was from El Paso. The others killed were identified as 24-year-old Alberto Nito Nito and 21-year-old Ama Yosenia Flores. The Chihuahua State Attorney General's office said the SUV with Texas plates the four were in Friday evening in Juarez was hit with gunshots from assault rifles. According to the Associated Press, wildfires that killed two and destroyed more than 1,500 homes also brought the loss of nearly 1.5 million trees. The Texas Forest Service says Thursday that more than 16,200 acres of pine and mixed pine deciduous forest burned in the Bastrop County wildfires last month. That's worth more than $14 million as they stood in the forest. The Forest Service assessed the damage to get a handle on the volume of damage and destroyed timber to be removed and possibly utilized. Only 22% of trees 5 inches in diameter and larger were likely to survive. Two Frisco, Texas coaches are being hailed as heroes for saving the life of a 12-year-old girl who collapsed at her school. Doctors still don't know why Kaylee Shee's heart stopped as she walked down a hallway to the girls' locker room at Mayhaus Middle School. The life-saving effort was caught on video by a school surveillance camera. It shows two alert coaches, Brent Reese and Kristen Goodian springing into action using a defibrillator. An air ambulance took the 7th grader to Children's Medical Center, Dallas, where doctors surgically installed a pacemaker. Kaylee's mother, Cheryl Shea, wants to use her daughter's experience to encourage others to install defibrillators in public buildings. Reese, Goodian, and the students who call for help will be honored at the school next year. Kaylee is now home from the hospital and doing well, but doctors say they still aren't sure what caused her heart to stop. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.